In this lecture, let's focus on the most important algorithm LRU for fully associative cache. Now let's learn LRU for fully associative mapping. Here LRU stands for least recently used. That means the element which was accessed the least should be replaced first. Again, to understand this, let's take the previous example itself. So in the question, instead of direct, make it associative. And we are using the scheme LRU. All right. Here the first request is five. So let's place it in the first block. That is cache line zero. Then we have four, then six, then three. The next we have four. You can clearly see four is available over here. Therefore, this is a hit. Now, because we have accessed this, let me move this to the right. So that this is of priority one. This is of priority 2. The elements which of priority 1 should be cancelled first. Then we go on to the priority 2. Now let's move forward. This is 0. Now 0 has to be replaced with 5. Because that was least recently used. Now let me place it to the right. Then 2. Then next least used was 6. Over here. Then 5. Then 3. Now look at 3. Now, out of this, you can clearly see the least recently used was 4. So, we cancel this and we write the 3 over here. Now, the reason to write the numbers at a distance is to understand which one was accessed least. Now, then we have 0. 0 is available. Therefore, this is a hit. But because it has been accessed, let me move this towards the right. Then we have 6 then 7, then 11, then 3, then 5. So at the end, we have 3, 11, 5 and 7. These are the elements in the cache at the end of this sequence. Now for this, the hit ratio is number of hits by atoms. So here we have 2 hits, and therefore 2 by 15. All right. Now, this way of writing horizontally makes it easy to understand what are the elements at the end of the list. This is a second and an easy approach. Instead of writing it like this, we can even write it in a horizontal way. Something like this. The first one is 5. So, I'll write it first. Then we have 4. Then 6. Then 3. Then we have 4. It is a hit. So, put a tick mark on this and just move it on to the right. Then we have 0. Now, 0 will be placed here. The least recently used is, just check which is not crossed out. So, here we have 5. So, this we will remove it. Then we have 2. Then we have 5. Then 3. Then 0. Again, put a tick mark and cancel it and move it to the right to show that it has been accessed. Then we have 6. Then 7. Then 11. Then 3. Then 5. Now here, now in this list, you can clearly see we got only two tick marks. That means hits are two. Therefore, hit ratio is two by 15. We can do it that way. But the problem is we just know what elements are left out, but we don't know which number belongs to which line. So if they specifically ask you where exactly the three belongs to from this way of writing, I cannot really tell the line number. But when you go this method, you can clearly know this belongs to line zero or seven belongs to line three. That's how you can make it out. So based on the question, if they mention about line number, go by this approach. Or if they just ask number of hits or number of misses, you can go by this method, which is convenient for you. Okay, now let's try one gate question. Here is a question asked in gate 2004. Consider a fully associative cache with eight cache blocks, numbered 0 to 7. And the following sequence of memory block requests, there are a couple of requests given. If LRU replacement policy is used, no, this is not while, this is actually which, which cache block will have memory block 7. So out of this request, they are asking where exactly this 7 belongs to. So they are asking specific line number. Therefore, let me go with the positional listing. For that, let me draw the diagram. So here is the cache numbered from 0 to 7. Now, let me also write down the memory request.
okay we got the request now let's fill the cache so 4 will be line 0 then 3 then 25 then 8 then 19 then 6 then 25 now 25 is already available therefore this will be a hit so just move it to the right side then we have 8 8 is also there this is a hit just move it on to the right side then 16 now here in the cache there are a couple of lines which are free so let's fill them 16 then 35 now it is completely full now 45 has to be replaced with least recently used so in this the least recently used 4 therefore let me write it over here then 22 then 8 now 8 is available so this is basically a hit and let me write it to the right then we have 3 then 16 now 16 is again available this is a hit let me write it to the right side then we have 25 again 25 is available it's a hit let me write it onto the right side then we have 7 now to place the 7 look for the least recently used so always go with the priority 1 list in the priority 1 list we see that this is not struck therefore we can place it over here therefore 7 belongs to line 5 therefore option B is the correct answer.